hair are you wearing? Okay. All right, you look fine. All right. It's okay. Okay. What's your name and what do you do in the band? I'm Andrew, and I sing for Danger Radio. How did you come up with the name for the band? Um, pretty much like we just had like, it's a really, really lame story. Like we came up with like a long list and we were being really indecisive. And uh, it was the one that sucked the least. So do you think that radios are dangerous? Nah, nah, I don't think, you know, like, it's really funny because I listen to the radio like religiously. Like I'm like, not that I find all my music on the radio, but I mean, like I'm, you know, I'm, I'm into the Chris Brown, the Justin Timberlake, and Fergie, whatever, you know, like boys like girls, like I'm, I'm down. <laughs> I'm down with whatever is, you know, fresh and catchy and fun, and if it's on the radio, then, you know, it's cool. How long have you been a band? Uh, we've been a band, well this current lineup has been a band about, uh, I would say like a year and a half, two years. Do you guys ever disagree musically and like what happens if you do? Um, we disagree on everything, all the time. We're like, uh, we're like a bunch of brothers just fighting over everything. So what do you like, rock, paper, scissors it? Um, no, usually you know like, the straws, uh, you know, just pick them. No, not really. Um, you know, I think like we would, you know, it's just, as far as like music goes, like we all agree like on a lot of things and there's like definitely like some people in the band that like write a little more than others and probably have like a little better feel for like what needs to be happening, but like as far as everything goes, I feel like everybody's really into what's going on with the music, so we all agree on a lot. Can you give us a description of a day on tour? Like what a day on tour, um, well, um, that would start with waking up and then hearing our guitarist Andy start swearing like a lot for no reason. I, I don't know why, but it's just, it's really funny. But he just wakes up and he's just not really a morning person, so he just wakes up and he's like, ah! And then he just starts going off and then after like an, like an hour or so he's like fine. And then uh, just drive, long drives and eat, play shows, meet a bunch of really cool people and you know, and, pack of our stuff and go. Oh, it's pretty much the same deal every day, honestly. Like sometimes you get like the really weird stories where you meet like the crazies. And uh but other than that it's been good. It's been awesome. So do you have any weird stories that you can share with us? Um I don't know if I have any like really weird stories. I it's really funny because we had actually just recently talked about this, like how we don't really have very many stories and then we we realized that we do have one really funny one where we have like this uh, guy who really been named unnamed, <laughs> but uh, he went on tour and he was filming stuff for this magazine for us and it was like on our first tour ever and he was following us around with his crew and like he doesn't really drink very often and he just decided one day he was like I'm gonna get drunk tonight and we got him, we were staying at this girl's house, we got him like just, he just got wasted and it was just like gone and then I think one of the guys in our band like decided to like hey let's like do something really funny to him so he convinced like the girl like one of the one of the girls' roommates to like like pretend that she's seducing him and like the room was all dark so we had like night vision on it and we were just like taping him like just like like saying all this stuff to her and he like was just like dude like he was saying all this crap to her just like you're better than Splash Mountain all the princesses of Disneyland he says to him like baby will you make me chili verde and all this stuff and we were just like after we watched the video we're like dude that's awesome. <laughs> Like, that's probably the best thing that you woke up and of course and had like a bunch of like penises and stuff drawn all over him, but that was probably like the funniest thing that we've ever done on tour. Sounds good. <laughs> what goes through your mind when you first work out on stage? Um, I'm scared to death and uh, hopefully that kids will like us. <laughs> it's different every time. I'm not like really like very confident about it because I just don't know like, you know who kids are there to see. You, you can never really tell like about like how the outcome of the show will be. I try and stay as positive as possible, but when I, usually when I go to play a show, I'm like, wow, man, I hope kids uh, kids move and dig it and have a good time. Well, they come. Yeah, they definitely come. <laughs> so that's good. Yeah. Do you do band pranks? Band pranks. We haven't so far. You know, like, all, we always go on tour with all these bands, and they always tell us their stories, and we're like, dude, you are the lamest band. Like, we're like, we don't really party very often, and we like, I mean, yeah, there's like so much stuff we just don't do, and it's like, it's like we don't have cool band stories, like, man, we suck, but as of right now, I think like we're gonna work on that a little more, like, you know, it's just gonna be in the works. What do you like most about being in the band? I love traveling and just meeting new people. 
like every day we like meet like you know like it's just crazy because you know you can go into like a city and like end up meeting like your new like best friend you know like there's been like so many times now like where we would go into a city and like we always come back and like see like the same people and you know eventually they just end up being like some of our really good friends you know we just keep in contact with them you know it's just it's really cool to just be able to go into a different city and just find somebody that you really connect with. What do you guys as a band hope to accomplish in the future? We would like to be on Guitar Hero 4. <laughs> <laughs> no, we always talk about that. Like, we get asked that question all the time. Like, do you want to be on Guitar Hero? But um, I think, you know, we would just like to have, you know, like be able to just keep doing this, you know? So um, just creating like a career that has like longevity and, you know, being able to go out every night play and cater to more kids, you know, and just see how it goes. Just do this as long as possible, because like, it's what we love to do. If your music could be the soundtrack to any movie, which movie would you pick? To any movie that exists movie. Yeah. And I would have to, like, fit on, like, is it, like, a movie that I, I like? Whatever you like, want. Do you have to, like, be like the movie? Well, it's kind of an issue. It would help the movie out. We'd have to move out. We've heard ridiculous things. I'd say Saturday Night Fever with John Travolta. I don't know, that movie just automatically came into mind. Like, I would have said Garden State, but then I was thinking, I was like, dude, it doesn't match at all, but that's just like one of my favorite movies. You can say it. Oh, then I would say Garden State. <laughs> but it doesn't match at all, so I don't know. <laughs> Fight Club. <laughs> so, how has this tour been going for you so far? It's been going good. It's been going awesome. Like, the bands that we're touring with are amazing. Everybody's really cool, you know, we've, we've met so many, like, people that are now, like, some of our best friends, and the kids have been, like, ridiculously amazing. Like, we go out and play shows, and we're pl every night we're playing in front of, like, hundreds of kids we never played before, and they're so, like, you know, just so welcoming. You know, it's just, it's awesome. This, this tour has been a lot better than I could have ever felt before. Do you have any plans for when it's over? Um, yeah, we're, we're gonna go back and finish our full-length record, which will come out in the summer, and then we have... I think two and a half weeks booked with, uh, I think, the main and the secret handshake. So I think that's who it is. I'm pretty sure. And then uh, I'm not sure. We got Warp Tour, Bamboozle, stuff in Southwest. We got just tons of stuff cooking up, but you know, it's like everything's kind of just in the works. So. I'll put you up on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> Love you guys. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank